Hello, Nada's fan again today here with you, continuing on with the Minnesota Golden Gophers uh, online dynasty in NCAA uh, 11. And we are back to some more recruiting here. We have just uh, been blown out by USC, 35 nothing on our uh, own home field. So um, they outclassed uh, the Gophers in just about every way. So we're back into the recruiting, and we need to get um, some uh, uh, the couple four-star recruits uh, that are on our board. We need to work on getting them in here. And so Joseph Carroll here, the wide receiver, is one of those uh, very small handful of four-star uh, recruits that we're going after. So here we're gonna um, we're gonna do some comparisons here with uh, our school and the next uh, highest uh, on the list there, Kansas State. Uh, just offered him or just uh, made him a promise there, and so hopefully we can follow through. I didn't even see what that promise was, but anyway, we made him a promise. So uh, here we're talking about proximity to home. We rate a B plus. We're gonna go ahead and pitch that and get uh, quite a few points out of that. So. Program tradition, we are a B for that. Uh, probably end up looking and see what Kansas State is. They're a C, so we definitely want to compare them there. So we gain 35, and Kansas State loses 11 uh, points on there. So a, a pretty good pitch there, as we are number one with Joseph Carroll there. We need to secure those four-star guys, because like I said in this uh, last recruiting episode, um, they don't come knocking down your door, those four- and five-star uh, recruits, when you're a school like Minnesota, and you haven't... Uh, put up the wins against the ranked teams so uh, especially after the way we fared with USC we got to go after these guys Casey Smith here will be another example of a four-star this guy's um, rated um, you know put in here as an athlete so he could play at um, probably multiple positions but he's a, the, a good kind of guy to have around so uh, right here you know I, I don't care what he played if he's four stars and he's on uh, on our radar we want to try to secure him so um, I am playing, I believe, on Heisman here uh, as far as um, recruiting. So um, they're not going to give you any freebies. Um, like I said, you know, they don't fill your slate with four and five star guys that you're going to you're going to get as freebies. So you got to kind of you got to earn it here. So we're here. We're comparing again with uh, Northwestern and uh, come out favorably there. So we earned some points with Casey Smith. Uh, he looks to be first, we look to be his first choice uh, if he were to decide today, but he hasn't decided today. So looking on down the list, it's pretty scarce. Uh, I believe those two are our only four-star um, guys that were actually, um, you know, that have interest in us. So um, next, I'm going to just come down make sure I'm not missing any. Oh boy, there's some one-stars on there. That's not, um, that's not pretty. We... Um, Texas and Oklahoma, Ohio State. Uh, we are not one of those schools. We're not. We're not raking in the five stars, obviously. So, here we go to our three star guys. We're going to try to, um, you know, fill a board with these guys as well. And a lot of these guys are are within our pipeline here, as you see here. A bonus of 16 points for being in the pipeline, which means uh, he's probably either from Minnesota or you know in the region here, one of our pipeline states. That's what that's referring to. So, um, we're changing the topic since we didn't rate so well on that one. Um, fan base is an above average thing to him. We, we rate it with Illinois since we're, it's basically a wash, but, uh, you know, anyway, at least we weren't below it there. So we're going to schedule a campus visit and we're going to do it against Northern Illinois because we think we can take that team out and we want to impress, uh, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and, uh, set up a whole slew of visits for Northern Illinois, hoping that, um, you know, it's not the, the biggest victory if we come through, but we want it to be a victory when they're, when they're on campus. So. Um, that's why we're going that way uh, with a bunch of these guys. Here I get a coach's choice again. You know, you're in enough, enough equity here and you get to choose uh, what you pitch, which is kind of nice because you go to one of your strengths and try to match it with one of the things that they're excited about. I get another coach's choice here with Carl Moore. I'm going to look and see what the options are, but we're going to go that thing that's uh, the one, the academic prestige, because it's very high to him, and we rank a B plus, so we gain 70 points on that, 200 overall on, on the phone call. So, you know, again, this is how this is how the um, recruiting works. I don't I don't work down to zero uh, minutes left every every time. I I do roughly half to two thirds of the recruiting time, and then I I let the rest um, s sim out. Let let the computer sim that for me because um, I just don't have the time to do it all. Um, I very much do enjoy the um, the recruiting aspect. I like I like the you know immersiveness of 
uh, doing that. As you see, we visit, we do another uh, uh, visit set up here with Cliff Gilbert to come in and uh, check out the Northern Illinois game. So the hope is these guys will come on in and um, see us beat Northern Illinois. Well, you know, we hope anyway. And um, maybe we get a couple commitments out of it here. So uh, here you see Guy Valentine. He is a halfback. And he's the number 56 rated halfback, I believe, with three stars. So um, just kind of uh, just kind of hedging our bets here, trying to get as many people uh, in for visits and, and, and um, you know, try to make sure we're going to get some of these three and, and definitely the two four stars we've got to go all out for because... Uh, we need to grow this program, and uh, th through this dynasty, we hope to improve with our uh, with our talents and not not slide backwards. So, uh, as many of those uh, highly rated guys that have some interest in us, we need to get them in here, help us to get some more wins and attract more players of their caliber. So, uh, here we we continue going. This is Joel Jackson. He's a tackle, uh, six four two ninety, big kid. We could use that even though he's three stars. We'll ask him what he thinks about program tradition. Actually, we know we won't. We'll, uh, we'll schedule the campus visit here. He'll also come in for Northern Illinois. We've got a slew of them coming. So um, and now we're looking at, uh, there we went into program tradition. So we got some points with him, with Joel Jackson. We're moving on down the list. This is, uh, and let's see, who are we going to talk to next? We're, uh, basically what I do is, um, you know, with a team like Minnesota here, um, seeing that the four and three stars are the highest uh, recruits we're looking at, those are the guys I usually deal with, and uh, anything that's two star or one star, I'm not really concerned about, uh, you know, whether we get them or not, you know, we'll let them, we'll let the computer fill out that, the bulk of that recruiting with them, because I don't want to, I don't want to haggle with a guy who's a one star, I mean, I could really care less what he thinks about athletic facilities, or... My program prestige, whatever, I want to try to avoid having to ever again come back in and take a one-star recruit. So, uh, you know, hopefully we, we get above that sooner than later, hopefully in this in this coming year. So, um, But that's got to be done by wins on the field. So we'll see what can be done about that. As you see here, if we, uh, as we uh, finish up with Eric Bonner here, we've uh, gained some points with him and dropped some points for uh, Washington in, in the meantime. Always nice to... To bump the uh, the competition down a bit. Here we got Jared Chapman, another uh, three-star. This is a strong safety here. I believe he was out of Minnesota, so we should get some. Well, maybe he wasn't. We didn't get any pipeline points there. So um, the fan base. We're gonna change the topic since uh, we're rated a C plus. Uh, we're gonna schedule him a visit. Guess what? The Northern Illinois game. We got a pattern going here. So. Um, I'm hoping we play well against Northern Illinois. <laughs> uh, with, that goes without saying. Um, Jared Chapman, how uh, how is proximity to home rate with him? It's low, but we we compare it to Wisconsin, and we still rate better. So we drop Wisconsin some points, we gain our some points. That's always uh, always a good trade off in our minds. So, oh yeah, let's call Pierre McDougal. What a name! Outside linebacker Pierre McDougal. Uh, okay, whatever. He's a 6'2", 195 run stopper. I don't know how anybody's uh, stopping the run at under 200 pounds, but uh, yeah, we'll see. That's why he's rated three stars, I guess. So, um, you know, we're just kind of doing the same with all these guys, kind of trying to match our strengths uh, and uh, hide our weaknesses here while we recruit. And you know, it's you get a you get a chance to uh, to do that by changing topics and uh, switching to things like uh, uh, giving promises and all that so uh, you can kind of uh, give a gimme or two uh, you know to get out of your your weaknesses so here we see a quarterback um, you know Adam Weber will be graduating uh, after the season and of course you got Marquise Gray who um, presumably will uh, will take the reins but you gotta um, kind of you know, keep the pipeline coming uh, at quarterback. It's an important position. So you would hope that maybe uh, we could swing a, at least a four-star quarterback to come in after Marquise, but uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So in the meantime, we'll uh, we'll recruit this guy up. 
give Shedrick a chance to come in and uh, show us a little something. So that'll uh, take care of our recruiting for um, the week leading up to Northern Illinois. Got lots of visits coming in, so hopefully the game will go as planned. Come on back to check out the highlights from the Northern Illinois game. I uh, appreciate you checking out my dynasty. I will talk to you guys soon. This is Not a Span. Take it easy.